Hi, welcome to Online Lesson Videos. I'm Ian Walsh. Today we're working on a tune called the Black Mountain Rag. This is a request that came into the site, and I'm very happy to play it for you. I'm going to do this in standard tuning. It's in the key of A. I hope you enjoy this sample you're about to see. Alright, let's get right into it. To start off, I'll show you how I began that tune. It's a thing called taters. And it's simply a uh, bowing rhythm to set your pace. And it's just a double stop. In this case, I used an E and an A on my middle two strings. So it looks like this. And depending on the rhythm that you want to play, for instance, if I was at a slower rhythm and I was counting it in one, two, three, four. Or if it was a little bit faster, it would be like this. One, two, three, four. Ending with an up bow, so you're ready to start your um, uh, pickup notes with a down bow, a heavy down bow. So uh, putting that aside for a second, I'll show you the first part of this tune. We start with a little walk up to the C. And you're going to be using this pattern a lot. A C sliding up from a C natural to a C sharp and uh, bouncing your bow between the A and the E string. Right now I'll show you it pretty cleanly, and then we'll add in the double stops. So we start with A, B, and then C is the downbeat. Again, ending with an up bow on my B, so I have that down bow ready to go for the uh, downbeat, the C. And the first, little, uh, the first little sequence of notes looks like this. Let's cycle through that a few times. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's start adding in a double stop. We really don't have to think too much about playing um, chordal double stops right now. We can just let the bow bleed across the A and the E string. So it sounds like this. Okay. We can also take off our C instead of leaving it down there, and we get a more different sound. We get an open A and E sound. And you cycle through it a few times. Again, what's very crucial to get that sound is sliding from a C natural to a C sharp. Like that. A couple more times. One, two, three. Now I added in our ending right there. It's very simple. C, B, A, 
F sharp, back to the A. And again, you can double stop everything by just blending the D and the A string there. That's a tougher little um, move. You don't have to do it. Um, I'm using my fourth finger on the D string, sliding up to it and blending it with the A to give me a kind of double A sound. Like that. So that's pretty much the whole first part. It repeats like that. The second part of the first part is a alternate melody. It's played a little bit differently. Um, let's play through it a few more times. get in now to the uh, alternate melody for the first part. Um, this tune is played A, A, B, B. With the first A part we have just learned, the second A part we're about to learn. <laughs> 